I would say the, my vision of India perceives that our national security should get the first priority. Unless your country is secure, you can't do other things. You are constantly attacked, damaged, destroyed. How can you how can you build anything on a perpetual or a continuous basis? A nation is safe when it does not have to sacrifice its legitimate interests and integrity to avoid war. The face of the war and you have to sacrifice your national interests, your integrity, your legitimate interests, then you become a colony. Because you are submitting, you are capitulating. If terrorists can make you release prisoners in your country by hijacking a plane or hijacking or taking people as hostage, that means we are not safe. None of us is safe. We must be in a situation where we can ensure that without going to war, we are able to safeguard our national interests or our legitimate interests. And there should be an equal commitment that if challenged to, to go to war, to defend these interests, we will not hesitate to go to war. There is a terrorist attack, we are told it is from 51 camp, uh, camps in Azad, Kashmir. What do we do? We tell Pakistan, please do something. And Pakistan gives us lectures. We should be able to send our air force to bomb these camps out of existence. Then people say, but supposing Pakistan throws an atom bomb on you? There you need a mindset. If necessary, we risk that too. After all, if Pakistan throws a bomb on India, maybe 50 million people will die. But we will finish Pakistan forever. There will be no Pakistan left after that. <laughs> Pakistan knows this and is rational. They will not lose the bomb. Because the next step will be the extinction of Pakistan. That commitment has to be there. It can be done. I can tell you as a minister, I've seen this at the micro level. You know that V.P. Singh was Prime Minister. His Home Minister's daughter's daughter, Rubiya, was kidnapped. And they released five terrorists. Our Indian Airlines was hijacked to Kandahar. Our government released three of the most dreaded terrorists. Mahmud Azad, who went and created the Jaisai Muhammad. Maulana, yes. In fact, on television, uh, the then National Security Advisor, Vishra, Rajesh Vishra, told the people, what is Muhammad Azhar? He is a harmless cleric. <laughs> that harmless cleric today has, to his credit, 3,173 innocent lives of Kashmir. And the other two also set up. One of them, of course, is in Naam Guantanamo. He got caught. Because of the Daniel Pearl, he, he was involved. So, we should not be in a situation where a handful of terrorists can make you deliver what they want. When uh, I was minister, Chandrasekhar was prime minister, there is a politician today by the name in Kashmir called Saifuddin Sos. His daughter was kidnapped. And they wanted two people who are in a hospital dying to be released. 
And in the meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs, Chil Shaker said, let's really read them, what is there? these people are harmless people. I said, no, it's the principle that is wrong. Unfortunately, what I did to rescue the girl couldn't be made public because by the time we made it public, our government had fallen. Ajit Gandhi had withdrawn support and elections were declared, never made the media. But Chandrasekhar gave me three days to get the girl released without releasing anybody from our side. And I, in those three days, I just took two of those two days, one of them for traveling, I sent our key men to London. Because the organization which had kidnapped this girl was called Jaish, not uh, uh, JKLF, Jammu Kashmir Liberation Front. And I found that their office bearers are President, Vice President and Treasurer were living in London, in England. One was in Leicester, one was in Birmingham, one was in London. So we sent a team to London, we contacted the Israelis, and one Israeli representative, maybe from Mossad, he accompanied our team, we went to the houses of these three, and said, if this girl is not released in the next 24 hours, you three will be killed. <laughs> And the Israeli told them, don't waste your time reporting this to the British police because we control the police in Britain. <laughs> in 24 hours, this girl was put on an auto rickshaw and driven to the house of Saifuddin Sohz and released. <laughs> I'm 